Hello, my name is Jake Peter, and today we're playing Thomas Was Alone. This is a great puzzle platformer story game. It's very story heavy, and it's Thomas just great. Was alone. Wow, a weird first thought. Weird first thought to have. So, if you want to get the full story, you don't actually want to play it as fast as you just noted right there. And Thomas the levels... decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Now, for a game One, that deals with shapes, the whole alone thing. it's a great story. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Ooh. Three, falling. Thomas yes. was absolutely fantastic, fantastic at, at falling. falling. He was almost as good at falling, falling as he was at observing. Yeah, the whole game is like that. The whole game plays like that. You have a little story, you have a little traversing the thing, and you... Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. Yeah. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to What's jump. The word? Jump. Jump. Um. <laughs> A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no. Um, um. There's no real danger in actually falling. My bad. We missed. We missed some of the story. But oh my gosh, this, this all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. Uh -oh. It was unstable, and it uh -oh. seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Any moment. This game, I'm letting it speak for itself. I'm letting this game speak for itself in most part. That's why I'm not as... Thomas uh... wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. This game, oh, I just I can't describe it in words. It's not that long of a game, and I highly suggest you buy it and play it yourself. Been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been Ugh. designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Too obvious. Too obvious. It's, it's, I just love this game. I just love this game. <laughs> you really all need to buy it. Boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Yeah, you die if you get the water, by the way. And oh, the notes. Oh man, you missed the mental notes. Maybe you can pause and read it. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh man, we, we almost fell, everyone. We almost fell and wouldn't have gone up. Would not have made it up. But I like Thomas the level names. New theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. Evolving? He wished Stage two? He had someone to share it with. <laughs> oh, we need, we need more shapes to share our adventures with, don't we? I would love to share these adventures with more shapes. Man, this one was, was a bit challenging. Was it great? I think it was lovely. What do we have here? Oh my. That was... Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas Ooh. think he was? So something I'd do is he actually introduced more shapes. You've got to swap between them. Got to swap between them. We get them all to traverse. We need to traverse. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. <laughs> he'd even been graceful at times. Well, he'd not been graceful actually, at times. Not technically graceful, probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was fine. that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Like he owned the place. Oh my, oh my, that hurt. That hurt. Why'd you hit me like that, game? <laughs> I thought we were friends. Yeah, we're going to do one more little level just to give off what this game is really about. I know this is going to be a short episode, but I will be spoiling so much of this game that you won't get to play yourself and experience firsthand in your own unique little environment. 
point, so we're going to we're going to do 1.3 here. Have a, that lucky number 13 pair off what needs to be paired off. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course mm. made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might Can't this jump. switch open up to him? Ooh. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. <laughs> Seriously, this made the Ooh. whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Oh yeah, that whole switch pressing thing. Completely futile. Yes, so... We would go on into more of this game, but this... Oh man, this game just speaks so much for itself. If I had to share a game, uh, that is a shorter game, I should say, you should play. I cannot by any means tell you more that this game will touch you. And if you have sympathy and empathy in anything in your life, or you just have emotion, this game, even with shapes, brings it out. It's just, oh man, oh, go buy it. There's a link in the description to go buy it. I've also played many other indie games this month, so go check out that playlist. There's a link to that in the description as well. But thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, which I really hope you did, Leave a like down there in the description, and then leave a comment telling me what your favorite shape is. Until next time, everyone, let's peace!